Hey everybody, Greg Cazillo, Cazillo.com. I've had a lot of questions lately about uh, people having trouble with their Lightroom catalogs and having multiple catalogs. So let's clear that up. This is actually really simple, so let's get to it. First, this catalog we have here. Say you were out on location or you're on vacation and you had your laptop, you created a catalog of images. Now a few of these are edited or ranked as you see there's a few one stars in here but for the most part I really haven't done that much but I still don't want to start from scratch I would still want to keep these ranked photos and all that stuff then import them into my master catalog so this 2011 Las Vegas catalog as you see here in the corner is my uh, vacation slash uh, location catalog so I'm just going to go to file and open catalog I'm going to go to my recent catalog which is this demo one right here that is my master catalog okay so now I'm back home on my primary my desktop computer and so I'm next going to start importing the pictures okay so I have this here's what's going on this G drive here is my hard drive that I take with me when I'm on location uh, it's just the the spare that I back up everything up to and so that catalog and the photos the catalog is right here and the photos are one two three those three folders right there okay so I want to import them into here simple is going to file and where are we import from catalog right here okay and we're gonna find that folder where do we go there we go we have that folder and it's gonna bring up a dialog box which is what we want now first off it realizes that all these photos are new they haven't been added to the catalog yet if you wanted you can pick and choose certain folders or not or certain images or not just with the check marks over here uh, I want to add these photos to the new catalog with um, and move them because normally the photos live I'll show you over here on this separate hard drive which is not W it's actually X there it is uh, this X drive is where all of my photos and videos go this is my primary drive where all of my stuff goes uh, for each year so typically I would be copying those photos or Lightroom would be copying those those raw files or the originals from the G drive to that X drive but this time just for uh, just to make sure we don't suck up all the time here I'm not gonna do that alright but I'll show you copy new photos to location and as you see uh, I actually would already have this set up and it would copy those photos over to X if I wanted alright or you can just hit the choose button and find a new location create a folder all that good stuff again I'm not gonna do that so I'm just going to say add photos, new photos, the catalog without moving. So import. Now as you see, it's going to be importing the photos. It's not going to move them like we said. All the metadata, all the settings, all the keywords, all the develop, all the everything is going to be imported here. Okay, probably should have chosen just one of those folders of images. Not all three of them, huh? All 600, really didn't need them all almost there almost there almost there I'm gonna pause you okay there you go now all the images have been imported like I said settings keywords the whole nine yards so now I have all of my pictures back into my master catalog now as a side note as far as catalogs are concerned you, you noticed here that I have a lot of catalogs and mainly my masters are all one for each year okay 2011, 10, all the way back, except for 2003 to 2005, which there isn't a ton of pictures in but from way back then as far as digital is concerned. So anyway, as of the last few years, I've been shooting anywhere between 30 to 40, maybe 50,000 pictures in a year. And so I just like to have separate catalogs for each of those. It makes this list super long when I have a lot of folders and stuff. And so it just works better for me if you only have 10,000 or 20,000 pictures total it probably doesn't make sense for you to have separate catalogs for everything or separate for years so 
try it, see what you like, what the best way is for you. But if you have, if you shoot 20,000 photos a year, consider setting up a separate catalog. But if you uh, shoot a lot more than that, then you're definitely, I think, going to want one for each year. And I actually know a few people that have them as separate for each client. And that's just definitely too much for me. I, I, I like having it quick and easy. A lot of time I'll bounce from client to client. And I don't want to be opening that catalog constantly. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Takes too, don't, takes too long in my opinion. So, everything has been imported. And now I want to export these pictures right here. These is a 10. Eight pictures. Okay. I have a client that wants to see these eight pictures and might want to buy all of them. Okay. So now, instead of exporting everything again, I can just go to File export as catalog okay now I'm going to export it back to my G Drive okay and we're going to say client name E-N-T-N-A-M-E -E. there we go now export selected photos only export negative files that's what we want okay negative files in other words it's going to transfer my raw files from my working drive, my X drive, over to the G drive, which is my temporary one that I carry around. It's one of those little external, uh, I forget what the brand is, but one of those little external drives. All right, and then include available previews. So it's going to take the previews that were created by Lightroom. Instead of remaking those, it's just going to copy them over. Go ahead and save that catalog, and that's going to move a little quicker. And let's see, how do we do? Now we have on the G drive, we have that client name. Okay, there's our raw files. And another little side note, I am so glad. If you guys have or, uh, have Windows 7, uh, make sure you pick up the raw codec pack, the new one that just came out like within the last month or so. It is awesome to be able to preview a file from my D3S within the photo viewer instead of having to launch Photoshop or launch Lightroom. Lightroom to be able to see what the image is actually is in the image so that's really nice that's why you're seeing thumbnails here from raw files because of that codec pack so there are my images that were copied over there is my catalog so now we are gonna transport back over to the office and we're gonna open up this catalog and we're gonna show these photos to the client alright well the client says I wanna see them all in black and white Okay, so let's make them all black and white. Let's see, which one? Let's pick one. How about infrared? See what that looks like. Doesn't look very good, does it? That's okay. He likes it that way. That's what he will. He's going to get with it, whatever he wants. So, these are the pictures we're going to sell to the client. We've edited them to his specs. Maybe we cropped them. Maybe we sorted them. Maybe we ranked some of them. Okay, maybe this one has a yellow and this one has a blue okay and so we know what we're gonna do and this is the best one and it's gonna be 40 inches it's gonna be a really big picture okay so we're done we're back home we want to re-import these settings back into our master catalog so let's open up our master again and there we go and there's a couple more tricks and we're almost done import from catalog okay now we're going to find our client name catalog. There we go. Now, first things first, you'll notice that the filing ha file handling for new photos is not an option anymore. It's not an option because the catalog and Lightroom realizes that these photos with these names are already in your catalog. All right, so it's not even going to give you that option. So change existing photos. Do I want to do metadata and develop settings only? Do I want to do nothing? Or do I want to do metadata, develop settings, and negative files? Well, in this case, I don't really need to recopy the negative files. All right, I just need the develop settings. That's it. All right, now, if you also, if you wanted, you could do preserve old settings as virtual copy. So if you wanted a separate set of virtual copies for this single singular client, maybe you'll set them up as a collection or something like that you can do that check that if you have a lot of images I don't know that it's worth it um, I don't use it often if at all but uh, I could see how it would be very advantageous and well, yep well, let's check all the images we're gonna 
grab them all and yep we're all good and we're gonna import keywords all that stuff develop BAM there's our ranked images there's our color and there's our horrible infrared images that look terrible but that's okay because it's what the client wants and the clients are paying so really cool nice way to move from laptop to desktop importing catalogs back and forth Greg Kizillo, Kizillo.com.